Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Couple of questions? If, uh, if there Five are, sometimes. Like a few questions. Sometimes there are and sometimes there aren't. There aren't if, you could, if you can see into the. I have a question. Um, so, a lot of times in the context of social, social justice, um, there's this is used to describe uh, the us and them mentality, and that's obviously not how you're using it, and I, and I was wondering if you could go into it a little more, what you mean by othering. By othering? Yeah. Uh, well, it, it, it ties, or ties in with a, a, a number of things. Uh, a, a belief, uh, you know, I have uh, in the... Uh, 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 the shared experience of, uh, of language, the shared experience of poetry, uh, the shared experience of, uh, of all of us as, uh, uh, as human beings. Uh, so uh, uh, there's a certain sense in which I could speak of, uh, you know, of, of all of poetry uh, being a kind of translation. You know, but we have fixed ideas about what translation is. You know, so you know, sometimes I, I do it if I'm out playing around with the concept of, uh, of translation. Uh, we translate each other. Uh, when we converse, uh, and uh, if, if I didn't understand your question, I would uh, ask you to translate it for me. I mean, to put it in other words, to, uh, to paraphrase it. That's, that's a form of, uh, uh, of translation. So I've, I've come to, um, uh, not in all my poetry by any means, you know, but I've, I've come to use, uh, you know, words of others, you know, starting from translation, you know, but in other ways as well. Uh, you know, straight translation, uh, uh, you know, the, the Paul Ceylon poem, the Neruda poem, uh, you know, that's about as straight as I can with uh, uh, with uh, with translation uh, you know but uh, uh, there, there, there are other ways of, uh, of, of coming in, into contact with those voices and not only the voices of other poets uh, uh, there's a sense, if you remember the, the, what I quoted from Whitman, through me, many long, dumb voices. Uh, you know, and so, you know, the, the noble pursuit of poetry, uh, you know, to be a conduit, uh, you know, for those whose voices are not heard. Uh, so, for example, it, uh, you know, one does not always give oneself permission to do that kind of thing. Uh, in a series, uh, uh, for, for many years, I, I, I really backed away from uh, from doing uh, poems on the uh, on the Holocaust. Uh, you know, although many in my family had been you know, murdered during that, and uh, uh, you know, th when I came to do it, uh, you know, I also wanted to open up to voices other than my own to let the poems, uh, you know, because th th there were writings that were left behind, and to me most movingly, uh, you know, writings that were left behind crammed into the, uh, uh, into the walls of, uh, of the crematory or, uh, you know, thrown into the, uh, into the earth, into the mud planted there. Uh, you know, so, um, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's extreme othering. Uh, you know, that's also a kind of witnessing, uh, you know, which is vital to, uh, 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 to a poetry if it, uh, you know, if it has an, any kind of uh, place, you know, besides just pleasing yourself. Nothing, nothing wrong with pleasing yourself, but, uh, you know, if that's what it comes to, it's not too important. Not so you spend a certain amount of time translating to others people's stuff and creating your own. How do you play the two against each other? Do you find you're doing your own you go, uh, I think I'm going to go do some translation for a while. And does that then get you to a certain point? Uh, 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 I'm going to go back to my own stuff. Wait. Yeah, a little bit. I, mean, I I don't sit around, you know, deliberately saying, "Well, I'm going to do a little translation." No, I'm going to do a little, a little of my own. Uh, but I, I find uh, I find that the translation, uh, yeah, is, is it's often a catalyst for uh, you know for my own uh, poetry, even when I'm not using uh, you know techniques like the Lorca variations and you know other things I've done uh, of, of that sort. Uh, uh, and um, uh, yeah, I, I, 
you know, certainly er early in the game, I, you know, I, I learned many things from, uh, you know, from translating, uh, uh, you know, you dealing with um, uh, uh, poems that, you know, were already well conceived and well fashioned, uh, you know, and uh, the question was, you know, how, you know, how can you do the something equivalent, uh, you know, to that? You know, and in the process, uh, I, uh, you know, so I, I try, so it's, whenever I get caught doing workshops or something, I, I translate, you know, that's, uh, it's not, a, you know, it's not a bad, even if you don't know the language, uh, you know, translate from other English poets, uh, you know, there's a, there's a way of doing that uh, as, uh, as well. Um, yeah, and the, uh, you know, the big anthologies are, you know, maybe another instance of, uh, of, of othering, uh, you know, in which I'm, I, I'm composing not only with my own work, if one can lay claim to it in that way, you know, but with the work of, uh, of, uh, of others. One more question. Um, thank you, Pegasus. Uh, I'm wondering, I guess I'm, I'm wondering about uh, otherness and that I've encountered tonight. Tonight I've, I've encountered some other, some other, and uh, it's been very moving. Um, and I wonder, is there something else to this quality of otherness and this encounter? and translation which might be seeking towards this moment of finding, perhaps incorporating, you know, uh, engaging this other. Is there something more to that than this joyful and moving newness? Mm -hmm. um, what, you know, what is it that is good? Well, it, it struck me at one point, you know, if you, the, the term otherness, which is a little different from othering, uh, that, uh, you know, questions of otherness, uh, questions of the other come up, uh, uh, you know, particularly when I was doing books like uh, Technicians of the Sacred and, uh, you know, Shaking the Pumpkin, you know, this an attempt to display the other, and, uh, you know, and, and sometimes that was very much called into question. I mean, it was something, uh, you know, was, uh, uh, you know, a, a appropriation has become a good word in, in uh, uh, I think, uh, in the visual arts. It was uh, not such a good word in, uh, uh, <laughs> in, in poetry, uh, uh, in, you know, particularly tra translating from or publishing work from uh, traditional Native American sources, uh, uh, you know, was this an exploitation of, uh, you know, of the other. Uh, but I, I, I came at one point to think that uh, you know that uh, you know that finally it, it came down to a question of uh, uh, of uh, my own otherness. I mean that uh, you know the exploit you know if if one thinks in terms of the other you know but but I is another. Uh, Rambo wrote famously, uh, "Je est un autre." I is an other, uh, and uh, so. Uh, uh, you know, to to come to uh, uh, if if I dare to say it, you know, to come to a confrontation with my own otherness uh, in, uh, uh, in 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 the world, but you know, otherness and you know, and then something that uh, you know, something that uh, you know that that binds us uh, uh, through a language, you know, or if. Uh, the old Chomskyan proposition uh, is correct in the, in the deep structure of all uh, languages. So you know, maybe that you know that that, that deep image ties up also with the uh, uh, with the, the deep uh, s structure. And of course, wonderful questions. You know, of how we how we communicate uh, you know, further you know, between languages, but how you know how do we communicate with each other? Uh, you know, translation in everyday life. Thank you so much.